I love you. And I love the new year already. You'll love it even more when you have an engagement ring on your finger again. What? Oh, I need a 2008 calendar. Can you believe it's officially the year we're getting married? Are you ready to pick a date? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, I, I just wanted you to be here with me for midnight. I, I didn't want you to be alone. I know. Thank you. This is the last place that you want to be right now, isn't it? There, I did it. I said it. I took your breath away, right, Miles? Miles, you okay? Yeah. Hey, say something. Can't get your tongue? Yeah. Rock for the cat. I was going to say this to you the other day, but I figured kisses speak louder than words. Maybe for both of us? Yeah, uh... Oh, uh, what? You feel the same way about me, don't you? Cognito, how do you know it's me? It's the slippers. Oh my god. They're pretty memorable. What are you doing here? I thought everyone was gone. It's New Year's Eve, for goodness sake. Why aren't you out? I, I didn't feel like getting dressed up and going out with a bunch of amateur drinkers who are going to blow noisemakers in my ears. Oh, well, I, I, I agree with you, and I figured that since I was going to be a stick in the mud, I might as well go all out. Sorry if I'm making you feel uncomfortable. Well, no, I mean, we knew. I mean, no matter how big this house is, there was a chance that we were going to see each other in a new way. I mean, just, I mean, not in a new way. I mean, just that we were going to, you know, probably run into each other and do things. Just not the... Nora. Yeah. I know what you mean. Thank you. Yeah. So, well, I mean, we probably... You've seen me worse, right? You've seen me... Comatose, but I mean, practically brain dead and whatnot. Uh, you look. Girl, if you uh, dare say fine, that's a four letter F word. I was gonna say, you don't look like a woman who needs a mud mask. Thank you. Oh, oh, I'm cracking. I can't smile. Oh, I, I'm actually trying to open my pores. I thought maybe getting some more oxygen to my brain would be stimulating. So. How about a little stimulating conversation? With you? Uh, you're a crazy person. Um, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Uh, no. Your grandma Addie. <laughs> Are you serious? Come on, that's rude. Um, I'm sorry. Um, 
Okay, right. well, it's a movie, genius. Yeah. And, uh, okay, uh, two words. First word. You. Me. Um, I. Uh, I have the, I have the tiger. That's no! A song. Okay. Too many words. Uh, okay. Uh, you, you, star, 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 Maybe she's making a New Year's resolution this year too, to get well, and you just don't know about it yet. I was just so hoping that hearing Christian's voice, voice yeah. would make a difference. I know. Look, don't stop hoping, okay? Yeah. Helen, could you give me a minute to talk to Chris? Yeah. Ben's out of here in an hour. Going on the road with his band. Oh, don't worry, I've got acts booked for the club up to the end of the All right, like that's what I'm worried about. And you met this guy when? Tonight. But I know his music and his band. Look, whatever, just let me tell you about my visit with eventually. Christian, I can't do this again. I can't talk to you about your girlfriend who's in a coma. Not tonight. This isn't about her, it's about me. You know, seeing her tonight made me realize that I'm finally ready to, to let go of 2007. Put, put all that stuff that happened last year, where it belongs. Where does it belong? You know, I just spent three hours in crazy traffic because there was only one place that I wanted to be. I want to start the year off right. With you. I always thought an October wedding would be nice, but tulips are my favorite and they're out of season. And I always thought soft colors would be nice for bridesmaids, but spring is so close. But a winter wedding would be cool, but I don't want to freeze if I wear a strapless dress. And then I have to find out a way not to invite Blair, and then there's Addy, and... What's wrong? It's, you know, a lot to think about. Sorry, I'm a girl. I've been thinking about my wedding, like, since forever. Yeah, no, and... If, if you want a big fancy wedding, isn't like a year the minimum you need to plan it? Not when your mom is Dorian Lord. <sighs> oh, Roxy Balsam. Keg, haw, we're set. <laughs> I spent all the money I had saved on a ring that you had to give back. I'm not exactly feeling like the catch of the century right now. It's no big deal. It is to me. I want to be able to afford the wedding of your dreams. Rex, the bride's family pays for the wedding. It's tradition. Well, since when are we traditional about anything? So, you want to wait to get married? Uh, to when? Well, it's not just the wedding we need to pay for. It's kids. Kids? Well, someday. So, let's hope that I sell a lot of lingerie. <laughs> Well, I need to figure out what to do about UV, step up the PI biz. Uh, what, and be out on the road all the time, leaving me with the babies? I need a better track record. If I just stayed in Texas, found Marcy and Tommy, everyone in the country would know who I am. But instead you bought a ring and came back here to propose to me. No, that's not what I meant. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying I can't believe that I was so close. You want to go back? I owe it to Michael. I can't believe Gigi the waitress lied to me and I bought it. Some waitress in a diner that you've never met before? You're supposed to know that she's setting you up? She wasn't just some diner waitress. What do you mean? We went to high school together. In Michigan? Kind of wild, huh? And she moved to Paris, Texas, made friends with Marcy, and sold you her engagement ring. That, yes, is a huge coincidence. No kidding. Why didn't you tell me about this before? How well did you know each other? Well, we dated and stuff. And stuff? We were teenagers. 
and you just forgot to mention old Gigi, and now you want to go back to Texas and see her? To find out why she lied to me and what she knows about Marcy, that's all. Rex. I love you what? If I did have a ring right now, I would give it back to you. The engagement's off. You're breaking up with me. Because I didn't tell you about some girl I saw that I dated like a million years ago? I am not breaking up with you. But you don't want to marry me. I'm dying to marry you. But maybe we're not ready. I mean, you want to put off the wedding as long as possible. No, no, I, I didn't say that. You felt so pressured to propose to me that you bought an engagement ring from your ex-girlfriend, no questions asked, and you couldn't even make yourself tell me the truth about it. You know the truth now. But what else don't I know? I mean, here we are planning our future together, and I'm thinking, how much don't I know about your past? It, it's called the past for a reason. I don't care about all the guys you dated in high school. It was a convent school. But, or all the boyfriends you had? Two. River and Duke. I've never kept a single thing from you. Look, I've never kept anything from you either. I didn't know that you needed to know every detail about every girl I've ever dated. Because I love you. And only you. You know how they say when you sleep with someone, you're sleeping with every other person they've ever slept with? That's if you don't use protection. Work with me here. Who else was there? How many, exactly? I don't know. You don't know? Okay. How many of them did you say I love you to? How many did you plan a future with? I mean, you've already been married. I'm going to be your second wife. And if it didn't work out then, what the hell makes you think that it's going to work out with us? You know, I've only been involved with, like, scammers and schemers and guys who only wanted one thing out of me, and once they got it, they went, bye-bye, you know, tail lights. And I want you to know that you're the first good guy I've ever fallen for. Good guy? I think maybe you and Nana are the only people that think I'm a good guy. Yeah, maybe you're the only person who thinks I am, too. If you do. Of course I do. And, and I gotta tell you this also. That community service, it changed me. I mean, I enjoyed every minute of it. Except for those kids, because they can really suck the life out of you. But what I want you to know is, it was like you were breathing life into me. And I just wanted to tell you that. It's not something that all of a sudden I'm thinking about. It's something that's been building and building up inside of me. And the other day when you got hurt and I thought you were lost. Rox, I, I, I don't know what to say. Well, you don't have to say the L word. You can just say ditto. Well, you can just kiss me real hard. You know, Rox, I mean, you're, you're like a breath of fresh air in my life. Now, you're not going to let me down real easy, are you, Miles? Rox, I care about you. A lot. As a friend. You know, I just did this this whole year in review. Now, let me tell you something about 2008. There's nowhere to go but up. <laughs> oh. The thing that I dreaded the most happening, my father dying, happened. And I'm getting through it. And the long lost son has seemingly been found, and I am getting through that, and whatever the hell it is I had with Dorian is over. Thank God. Well, I'm glad that you're not too heartbroken, my friend. I, I, I really I've kind of been giving myself a lot of grief for my participation in its demise. Oh, no, no. No, it's not even remotely your fault. Oh, I kind of let you know exactly what I was thinking about her. You did, but it opened my eyes. Well, and I kissed you. I kissed you, too. Twice. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. You know what? While we're closing the books on 2007... Here's two platonic kisses between roommates, Celestia. Wouldn't you agree? Oh. Oh, 
I've been waiting. I have. And now that I'm leaving town, now you decide to come and kiss me. It's New Year's Eve. And it's like, that makes it okay? Would you just let me talk? You know what? I know what this is about. It's safe for you to kiss me now because I'm going to be gone tomorrow and you'll never have to see me again. No, you know that's not what I want. You know what? I'm going to get over you. I'm going to find a guy who wants what I want. And that's the future. What if we have a future? Do you still want to leave Landview? Hey, Ma. Yeah, I know, but... Um, um, so, okay, cool. It's your turn. Go. You know, I'm really not into this. Sorry. Um, okay, well, oh, wow, I'll go. Yeah, go. Go ahead. It was Flight of the Concord. Really? I gotta go. No. Oh. Yeah, but my mom, uh, wants me to head out of here before there's any traffic. She's afraid I'll ding the family wagon or something. Well, can you just spend the night? Oh, yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> No. I was supposed to be home, like, at the stroke of midnight, so I better head out. Otherwise, I don't get the cookies. Oh, and I only love you because you take me out in the wagon. Come here. Come uh, here. Love you, too. So you're going? Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Bye. Cool. All right, babe. I'll see you. Yep. Take okay. it easy. Love you, too. You know, I think I should go, too. No, um, don't go yet. You know what? My grandma made cupcakes. I I'll go get them. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just down there. If you were acting like everything was fine, I'd be really worried. I shouldn't have come here tonight. I just didn't want her to start feelings. Well, you need to take care of yourself right now. <sighs> Star says that she'll do anything for me, but... How am I supposed to tell the girl that I love to leave me alone? Future? Okay. You have two minutes. Knock yourself out. You knock me out. Dolly, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're passionate. How would you even know that? Let me finish. The reason you didn't put your heart on the line, I didn't either. That's why I didn't say anything. Not because I wanted to make a fool of you, and certainly not because I needed my ego struck. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed having you pay attention to me, but it was only because it was you, Talia. And I wanted you. But you said that you did it. No, what I said was, is I didn't want to start something that I couldn't. If I couldn't follow through, especially with you, but I know, I know um, I hurt you. Um, Hey, but I, I was honestly trying not to. I cannot let you get on that bus without letting you know how I feel. It was not one-sided. And, and I know we don't have the time to tell you all the different reasons why I care about you. So why don't I just hit the highlights, okay? You're, you're smart. You're funny. My, my daughter is a terrific judge of character, and, and she's crazy about you. you you're gorgeous. You're a great cop. You, you've always got my back. Look, New Year's... New Year's is a time for new beginnings. And all I'm asking is for a second chance. And if I've blown it, then I completely understand. But I couldn't let you go without letting you know how much you mean to me. I've never felt this way about anyone before, Adriana. You've been in love before? I might have said the words, but I didn't know what love was then. Now I do. You sure? I'm so sure. Look, I know that you had a life before you met me, but I guess I just need to know. I'm going to be your wife. I need to know how many more Gigi's or Mimi's or Fifi's are going to be popping up from out of nowhere. Sure you really want to know? 
Seeing Evangeline and being with her after all this time made me realize that I'm holding on to a dream. But you loved her. That wasn't a dream. But I need to put the past behind me. I need to live in the present. And you're the present. Unless you leave. If that's still what you want to do. Everything you just said is what I've been wanting to hear all along. But you couldn't say it before. What changed? I told you. You saw Evangeline, and she's still in the coma. But what if she wasn't? If she walked through that door, which God knows could happen any day now, would you still want to be with me? So, no more platonic kisses between friends? That to me sounds like a good resolution. There you go. Good resolution. I mean, well, I mean, platonic kisses on the cheek, no problem. But, you know, the lips. 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 Oh, that's pushing the definition of platonic. Exactly. Exactly. How many kisses does it take? How many kisses does it take to, oh, cross over that inevitable line of, well... Um, legally speaking, I think that, you know, it comes down to an issue. Is it quality or quantity? What? Well, oh, I, I'm not saying that the quality was bad. The quality was wonderful. Your kisses were really um, w wonderful. Uh, how, how many kisses? Um, more than two? Three. A couple of things I want you to think about for the year 2008. Yeah? What are you doing for the month of February? The whole month. I'm thinking Valentine's Day. Oh, I was counting on that. Mm. Well, you know I'm a deliverer. But I want to officially open up my art gallery. And I want to show off the most beautiful thing in it. You. Your art gallery. Vincent, the deal went through? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Lindsay still has to cross a couple of T's for me, but the next time your mother says, Vincent, what are you working on now? You can say I own an art gallery. Uh -huh. I am so proud of you. <laughs> oh, lovely. That's great. To you, baby. Oh, to you. If Evangeline wakes up, if you and I are together, if, if, look, I don't know. The two of us, we don't even know what we have together yet. I don't know what's going to happen. You might decide you don't like the way I snore. All right, let's throw it and have the t-shirt and the earplugs. Who knows? You might want to run off with the next Kellen who runs through this bar. Is this supposed to be convincing me? I hope so. Is that what his name, Kellen? <sighs> look, I'm not asking for a guarantee. The thing is... I may not be a perfect person, but I don't want to root for Evangeline to stay in the coma. I don't want you to leave. But that's all I can say. The rest is up to you. So you just said that you care about me as a friend. Does that mean that you don't care about me the other way at all? I don't even know about caring for anyone the other way. Except for Marty. I thought I loved Marty, but she didn't love me back. I forced her into a marriage that she hated, which means I couldn't have loved her as much as I thought. I don't want to put anyone else through that. But this is your way of letting me down easy. You suck. Oh, Rox, I know. I'm sorry. I told you. I told you I wasn't good at this. Uh, what about Natty? She turning your head, amongst other things? No. Well, she's just a great friend like you. I mean, <laughs> if we can be friends, I would like that. No way, man. Take them off. What? Friends don't give other friends sexy boxer shorts. Take them off. Star understands. No, I don't think she does. You know, everyone thought I was crazy for not telling anyone when my parents died. You had a year and a half to deal with it. Maybe that's what you needed. What do you need? To not be here right now. Uh, do me a favor. Just tell Star that I had to go, okay? Yeah, sure. Good night. 
出来。Leave. Why didn't you come and get me? Don't make this into a big deal. This is a big deal, Langston. I keep trying to make him feel better, but God, it makes me feel like like I'm making him feel worse. What? You've been through this, Langston. What am I doing wrong? <laughs> Have you been drinking? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> Because if this is one of those, I don't want to be alone on New Year's Eve things. I'm, yeah, forget it. <laughs> Do you think that I'm really that big of a jerk? <laughs> I don't want to think that. There's a, there's another bus tomorrow. <sighs> well, my plans are to get there tonight. Uh, you're thinking about it, I can tell. <clears throat> I don't have time to think about it. Cause I'm gonna miss my bus. Attention, please. Due to mechanical failure, the bus to Cherryvale is canceled. I cannot believe this. To repeat, there will be no bus to Cherryvale tonight. <laughs> oh well, that's uh, that's too bad. Looks like. Uh... <laughs> You're stuck with me. You're not doing anything wrong. You're right. I'm just great. You're my best friend. And your parents died and you didn't tell me for a year and a half. And now my boyfriend just lost his mom and he doesn't want to be anywhere near me. Maybe you're just a little too much in I'm here for you mode. How can that be, Langston? I've barely seen him since everything happened. Sir, Cole still loves you, but you're here right now, and his mom's gone forever. And that's more important to him right now. It's more important than you are. You need to find a way to let him know that you're okay with that, because you're right. He needs you so much right now, just like I did. Hey. Oh, hey. Hi there. Did you have a good night? Yeah. I'm, I'm just tired, so I'm gonna grab a glass of milk. That's okay, and go to bed. Sure. Cole. Happy New Year. Thank you. Okay. You too. Good time. Oh, he's got a long, sad road ahead of him. Well, he's awfully lucky to have you. Wish there was more I could do for him. You're giving him room to breathe, Nora. It's kind of my specialty. That's a good thing, too. Oh my God! Happy New Year, Nora. Because look, it's past midnight. <gasps> oh no! I told Matthew I was going to wake him up so he could watch the ball drop. Oh, he's going to kill me. Too late now. You can't get the old year back. No, you can't get the year back. But guess what? You can wind the clock back. See? <laughs> you know what? What? Last year was really rotten. There's no reason why we shouldn't bring the new year in right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't tell you about knowing Gigi. I didn't know how to tell you that I bought your engagement ring from an old girlfriend. I can't believe it was Marcy's. But I wasn't hiding anything important from you. Okay. I would not have proposed if I wasn't ready to marry you. I know. So are we still calling it off? No. I'm sorry I freaked out like that. I, 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 I did kind of spring this on you. 
So if you're not ready... I am so ready. I guess I can put my heart on the line one more time for you. You won't regret it. I hope you don't either. No way. So, what happens next? After all this, you, you want to see me naked? Don't flatter yourself. Give me those boxers. But... Hey, you're a smart guy. You'll figure it out. Come on. I really am sorry. Thank you. Bye-bye, Miles. Night's still young. Can I buy you a drink? Well, that sounds great, but um, you're dressed for Capricorn, and I'm dressed for maybe bowling. Uh, well, there's a bar at the bowling alley. You game? Okay, Sarah. We're shoving off. Are you coming or not? Look, you are amazing, and I really appreciate the offer. So I can't go. Maybe some other time. Maybe. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Happy, happy, and all that. Sex with the mail. What does that mean? How many towers are in a dozen cupcakes? You only had three. I had like five. So you have nothing to worry about. Neither do you. Mm. I, I really don't want to get anything on this dress. Look at you sounding like a fashionista. I only wore it to make your aunt happy. I'm sure. You know what? Take a picture. Just to prove that I actually wore this once. <laughs> okay. Oh, shoot. I forgot to take a picture of you and Marco earlier. Next time. Don't worry about it. Okay. You know what? Hmm. As much as I miss my house and my own life, I do love living here. That's because of you, Star. Thanks. Okay. Say cheese. Cheese. <laughs> oh. Marco's calling. Oh. Hey, babe. Your mom hit the ceiling. Really? When do you think you'll get your car back? Well, that's not too bad. That's fine. You don't have to do that because I already feel slightly ridiculous. You're supposed to. It's New Year's Eve for goodness. Oh, okay. Ready? Here we go. Five, four, four three, three, two, two one. one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! on me that you can't return used boxer shorts. Thanks. 
Happy New Year's, Miles. I hope you know how much you ruined mine. Prospero Año Nuevo. Happy 2008. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, Christian. Happy New Year, Sarah. Yeah, I'd say it's a happy new year so far. <laughs> you realize this is the year our whole life changes? 2008's gonna be huge. It's gonna be great. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. I can keep your secret on one condition. Hey, that's not yours. Peter. Well, I need to see you. I have something for you, and you're not going to want to leave without it. Watch weekdays on ABC, weeknights on 